Hello everybody and welcome back to some Morphine Folio in what might possibly be the last episode of this series before we start the new save file. This should be the last video that I have to backlog before I go on my break home to see my family for Christmas and come back and start the new series with the special 10k surprise. Um, but yeah, this is probably the last one. So, I don't know. I kind of want to make it a special one. But I don't exactly know how. Um, <laughs> it's kind of a tricky one, really. I, like, I do love some Eden, but I feel like I need to go some, with something a little more special. I could just commit myself to pain and go with Tainted Andromeda. Let's do that. Why not? Commit myself to full-on pain. This character is one that I absolutely love. But, okay, let's just restart. <laughs> Absolutely love, but I'm terrible at Why did I walk in there? Let's restart again. <laughs> this has been an outstanding start. Outstanding start. And as for my question of the day today, what is a game that you have been obsessed with lately? Because I am once again obsessed with Elden Ring. Um, I've started playing it for my second channel. Ooh, active items are triggered four to six times have a half chance to disappear. Sounds like it could be fun. Let's hold on to that. Um... Yeah, uh, I am infatuated with um, Elden Ring once again. Same thing happened the first time I played it, but now I'm playing it for the second channel, um, getting some videos ready for you guys, and oh my god, I'm loving it. Although I've been having, I've been messing around with my recording settings a lot. It's been, it's been honestly kind of a a tricky process getting my recording settings right for more intense games. So I really hope I've got something good going on. I really hope um, it works for you guys. And I hope it doesn't cause too much frame drops or whatnot, but we'll see. We will see. Um, but yeah, do you know, something that I find myself doing, and it'd be interesting to know how many other people do this. Also, kind of an awful room here. Also, we have zero charges in Singularity so far, which is just, just tragic. Um, I'd love to know how many people do this. Something that I do often, which I find is actually a pretty bad habit. Can I? Come on. There you go. Uh, I find it's actually a pretty bad habit, and it kind of really annoys me, but I haven't been able to stop even when I acknowledge that I'm doing it, is whenever I get, like, really into a game, I tend to, like, over get into the game. Like, I'll, I'll a new game will come out, and I'll join the subreddit, and I'll look, I'll search the game on YouTube, and I'll look at the Steam pages, and I'll look up this and that and everything, and I'll just be c consuming so much content, R uh, like surrounding by the way this has to be one of the most terrible first floors we haven't got a single charge in singularity so far um i i consume as much media as i can about that game uh, as well as playing it a lot and it's actually a really bad idea because i enjoy it but it means that i burn out on the games much quicker and um, the game has to really really grip me or have like a ton of content which elden ring does luckily to keep me going while i'm still doing that but like even with Elden Ring, I've got back into it because of the second channel, and now I'm back on the YouTube grind watching a little bunch of different videos of how to get cool stuff. I'm, um... Where do we want to use this? I'm just going to pop this in here and see what we get. Ooh, lovely. A very, very cool one to get with this character, actually. Very, very cool indeed. That's going to be a lot of fun. Um, a lot of fun indeed. Um, yeah. And just, I just consume so much content to do with that one thing. Uh, and like I said, I've been, I've been like on the Elden Ring subreddit and looking up all this sort of stuff. And I'm just like, I, I shouldn't, I should just play the game. I should just, just play the game and not look things up. But to be fair, Elden Ring is a little bit of an exception to the rule because you kind of have to look things up if you're at least not, uh, souls like, like a common souls like player sort of thing. Cause there's a lot of complicated shit in that game. But even still, it's just, I, 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 I get burnt out on games quicker because I do this stupid stuff. And it's like, I'm always like, why? Why can't I learn? But I never can. I'd, I'd, be, I'd be really interested to hear how many other people do this. Also, this crown item is doing really well. Oh, no. We fucking gulped. We, we got like a 5% chance to gulp us as character. We gulped that car battery. So whatever active we get, there's a 50% chance that it goes bye-bye very, very shortly after we get it. Now, that was just a horrible room, wasn't it? We're going to need some health back pretty soon here, game. Um, this. So many things each tier can be. I can't even hit these guys. There you go. Oh, for fuck's sake, you hit me as well. I'm really not doing too well. This this run might not might not end up lasting too long. I've got a beater here that we have to deal with. 
Yeah, we get just so many tier effects. This is kind of like fruitcake, but different. Fruitcake, but different. I'd like to go into my shop, maybe, and get something out of there. Oh, God. The boom spiders have started getting about the place, and I have no real way of actually directly killing the one that I want to kill when I want to kill it. It's all kind of luck of the drawer at this point. This this one has been a real pain in the ass to kill. There you go. And I didn't realize there's explosive boxes like fucking everywhere here. Okay, this hasn't been too bad so far. I'm not super enthused though, Golden Heart. It's actually pretty good if we want to take some damage. These guys are no good for me either. Some dippy dippies. Okay. You're going to be annoying, aren't you? Yep. That's very annoying. Luckily, I didn't hurt myself there. Still only got one bomb somehow. Oh god. Teal guy as this uh, as this character, they're gonna be problematic, I think. I think. They're gonna be really problematic. We did get a charge. Do we want to try and find a secret room? Probably. Right. Where's it gonna be? Probably up from this room, but I have to make sure. Just to make sure I'm not wasting anything here. Okay, it's almost definitely here. There you go. It's not great. Oh, wait. It did overcharge my item, though. Um, Let's pop one here, and we get the helicopter boys. Spawn two toy helicopters that fly around the room and attack enemies. Green very rapidly shoots weak bullets, and red summons airstrikes. Please, please say those airstrikes don't hurt me. Because if they do, that's really going to really gonna be a problem. I didn't think about the fact that it charges up, but helicopter boys is potentially pretty good as long as it can't hurt me. Oh god, it definitely can hurt me. It definitely can hurt me. Fuck. Good, but it's also terrible. Okay, no, it can aim at enemies from a distance. That's, that's, that's pretty good. Right. Good old B. There's a bit of a delay on it firing as well. Okay, careful for these things. Whoa, why is that one stopped in midair? I do not like that. Oh my goodness. Okay, these, these, these helicopter boys, they fuck. Rotten baby. And little horn. Okay. Apart from my health, apart from my current health, I'd say things are going pretty well so far. I would say we are having a good time. We're having a ball. Don't stop me now. Just be very, very cautious of our impending doom from airstrikes. As long as we keep an eye on it, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm just fearful that he airstrikes here and I don't see it and he hurts me. I don't even know if it can deal damage to me yet or not, but I'm almost certain it will be able to. Okay, bad, bad, bad. Thank you for saving me, helicopter boy. This guy is pretty amazing. Lemon juice. I think that's their tier size down, so that's not going to be great. Cootie, that's actually pretty good. This is a good run. I mean, I am really still quite worried about my HP. But otherwise, this run's very, very good. Is it worth it to bomb through these? Not really. I kind of started it. Also, the cootie thing is really, really good. Getting the highest HP enemy in the room is pretty awesome for us. 
Give us a way to get HP game, please. We need it so desperately. This run cannot die. It's got so much going for it right now. Our items are just unbelievably good. No item room for me, thank you. We're looking for Planetarium here as well. He says, no, no, no. We tried to make him go to rehab. I was going to buy that key then, but for just like for the charge. But I'm like, is that even worth it? Probably not. Come on, shop didn't have HP. It's getting a little sad. You're going to be a huge pain in my ass. Yeah, blow up the barrels first. This guy could very well hit me, so... I don't even know what that does for us. I'm just not going to use it just in case. In case it, like, just insta-kills me or something. I, I know that my helicopter boy is going to be the thing that kills me here. Um, Paying for a devil deal grants damage up. Okay, unfortunately, that doesn't do anything for us. Because we can't actually pay for a devil deal. I'm, I'm checking everywhere on the floors now because we've got 41% chance of a thingy. 41% uh, chance of a what's it called? Planetarium. I feel like it's worth checking at this point. Oh, I should have let that guy poop out a thingy for me. A consumable. I'll try this again. Got unlucky. I had to give it a gamble. Why not? Do you know what I did watch recently? Which I wasn't expecting to like as much as I did. I watched the uh, the Wednesday Adams uh, Netflix series. And honestly, pretty good. Like, I was expecting it to be like some just like teenage drama cringe. And it has its moments of cringiness. But honestly, overall, I really enjoyed it. It's like kind of like a murder mystery sort of thing. It was pretty good. Oh, really? That was, a, that was a good hit, sir. I commend you for that, but fuck you. Pop that. Enemies receive knockback. The, oh, ho, ho. That's actually so useful for us. That's incredible. Really hoping for a soul heart there. Did not get it. Did not get it. But more knockback. Uh, plus damage and more knockback the uh, less health they have. Sounds actually insane. And more damage is just super, super good for us right now. Because um, we have uh, Rotten Baby. Rotten Baby's flies are actually going to do a good amount of damage. And we don't have to aim them whatsoever. So, this is very good. I asked for a challenge game for my last run. And what do you give me? You give me a rock solid run. That is very, very fun. Well, we're killing this guy in that amount of time. Wow. We got our soul out of this. We got an angel deal somehow. Um, we got the soul. Okay, this is... This run fucks. Why did I hit both at once? Okay, thank God. I always do that. I always go for... Ooh, let's just hit both at the same time. No. That is stupid. Don't do it. I'm really loving the Celestial Crown. Like, I think that's such a fun... Considering it's an unlock from this character, I'm pretty sure. It's such a fun addition to this character. We get our key pieces. Because why not? Might as well try a Mega Satan run this time around. Oh, I also have some honey rum right with me here. Oh boy, it's fantastic. It's like one of my favorite rooms. I will say, the other day, um, I went out with my girlfriend and one of her friends from... Yeah, I'll take that. One of her friends from university that she hadn't seen in a while. Um, and we went to, oh, he finally hit me. He finally hit me. I hate the L-shaped rooms as a character. It's such a pain. Um, especially ones where we have to hit enemies in the corners. Just bloody hit him. There you go. Um, yeah, we went to a, a gin bar. And it, it's, it, it is a gin bar, but they do a lot of other stuff too. So I, I wanted a rum, and they do some really nice ones there. And I wanted to try something new. So I got something called pineapple grenade which i was like that sounds interesting i like pineapple i've had pineapple rum before it's good stuff i did not know that it also said what the hell item is that 
That's... That's the eye of greed, yeah. It's not very good for us, actually, but I'll take it. Um... Because we're going to end up wasting a lot of our uh, money doing this. But it is what it is. We got compost. This item will be dead very shortly. Leprosy. Yep, there you go. It's gone. <laughs> oh, wait. The battery when... um, The battery doesn't disappear. So basically, actives are useless for us now. Because they're going to disappear eventually. They get used four or five times and then the zabbity zoo. But yeah, we got this pineapple grenade stuff and I didn't realize it said overproof on it and I didn't know what overproof meant. It's pretty obvious when you think about it. When you say like, oh, this alcohol is 37% proof, which means it's 37% alcohol. So overproof means that it's more proof than usual. Um, and I I asked at the bar for a, a, like one with lemonade and I asked for a double. And she poured me the double. And then after pouring it, it's like, are you sure? And I was like, well, you've already poured it. And she was like, I was like, why? And she's like, this is 65% proof. God damn, that's the strongest alcohol I think I've ever had. Bear in mind, vodka's like 32%. Most, like, thir I think between 32 and 37% is where vodka lies. So that is like double of what vodka is. It's, it's actually kind of crazy. Ooh, yes, please. Because this might actually double our... Oh, why'd I walk in there? Fool. It might double our um, helicopter fellas every now and again. Or Rotten Baby. Hey, yeah, it does do uh, double our helicopter fellas every now and again. Such a good trinket that people do not understand how good it is. Oh, actually, I have greed's really good because if we freeze an enemy, we get more money drops, therefore more consumables. Didn't think about that, did I? This chest will come to me eventually. It's on its way over. I like the way the mind has changed our colour. That's activating a book once every three rooms, I think it is. We look good in blue. Move out the way, chest. Thank you. I like the way we've got the ghost from the soul sticking out of their head, and then this enemy sticking out of their head on top of it. It's pretty funny. Hey, we finally got the planetarium. And we don't actually have a charge to use it yet. And we got Juno. Uh, is Juno the one that respawns enemies? Oh, our hair's blue. This is so cool. <laughs> okay, this this run absolutely fucks. This run's so good. What a way to leave it off, ladies and gentlemen. What a way, because this is something mighty precious. Also, the game is running pretty smoothly right now. And our health isn't that bad. It's not good, but it's not that bad. Get chopped up. Um, rabbit, you shift up. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> not quite sure what to do with gravity shift on this character. I don't think that will work. <laughs> Maybe it will. I don't think it will. I don't think it will. Hey, things have a chance to turn to our side. We like that. We like that a lot. Oh god, this is gonna get messy so fast. Juno, like, really ramps things up into insanity. You start to get a lot of familiars very, very quickly. I don't think, um... I think he's very useful for his gravity shift. What the fuck? Right. Okay, that book was not was not in mind when they created this item, because that is very unfortunate. I don't want that to ever happen again. The hell's going on here? What is it left that I have to kill? 
Is it just you two? Okay. That was confusing. Oh, fuck me. That room's scary too. And we got a few of these as friends as well. We could wait for the red chest here. I think I will. I need more HP. Look at our friends. Do you know what would be, would be a nice mod? Make it so that things that are charmed don't shoot at you all the time. Just a little fix. Just, just stop annoying me. I'm not. I'm your friend. Stop bothering me. We need to go sideways. Excuse me. Passively spawns a special dirt patch in every secret room. If used elsewhere, bury all keys in the room. In a room. Bury all keys in a room. If you use that dirt patch, dig up all buried keys as cracked keys. Bury all keys. But does that mean I dig up 99 cracked keys? I don't think I want to do that. I don't know what it means by all keys. I'm not sure if it means all keys on the floor or all keys that I hold. Pretty interesting concept, but I don't think I need that. Why do I keep going in this? Stupid dumb. Stupid, stupid dumb. But the side is stupid and dumb. Drop a bomb on that bitch. I will buy a, th a soul heart. And I will buy a card. Justice. And I will use her for justice. Get some extra luck. Not a ton. Just a little bit. Hello, Brimstone friend. I don't know where you came from, but I'm happy to have you along for the ride. Oh, he's still alive. He's just charmed. Wait, no, what? I'm confused. So much going on right now. Because of the bloody charmed enemy from the little swirly boy that sits on my head, things are getting real confusing. I missed out on I Belial, you kidding me? And I get betrayal for all my efforts? Are you actually kidding me? Okay, rude. Ah, I finished my honey rum. Drinking it out of a tiki glass with a metal, like, rainbow straw. Nice. It's not rainbow, what do you call it? Damascus? Is that the pattern? No, it's not Damascus. It's the bloody one that everyone raves about in CSGO Knives, where it's like, it's like at certain angles, it's different colors. Chroma? Something like that? Is it Chroma? Oh, I don't remember. I don't play that shit. Eternal D12, why not? Bunch of champions this floor. Oh, that's because we got the curse. Hello, you. What are you doing here? This is so confusing. I, I honestly am having a really hard time figuring out what the hell's going on. It is reduces TSIs. Oof, I do not want that. Right. In here. You can only hold five keys each time you open a lock, you receive a random stat boost. Hmm. Yes? Ooh, I like the way it drains my keys. Oh. These keys are broken. I don't know if you've figured out what's wrong with them yet. But these keys are really broken. Yeah, I'm not sure if you've, you've realized what's wrong with them yet, but these keys are really broken. Okay, this might take me a little while to grab all of these items. Okay, just hang in for the long haul, people. We'll get there in the end. Wish there wasn't so many actives, but 
Hey ho. There's wafer in there, lovely. Glad I have the mod that gets rid of the pedestals. I'm trying my best. Don't know what that is, old bell. I honestly don't know what's what anymore. I don't think I want Proptosis. I'm pretty sure Proptosis would be bad for us. Get the prank cookie though. I want the prank cookie. I want that too. I want that too. I want that too. Okay. Well, this is, uh, sufficiently fucked. So, if you're wondering what's happening right now, basically... Basically, what's happening... It used it four times. It's hilarious. Um, what's happening is... Because I'm not allowed to go over five keys, the game doesn't know how to handle itself when I touch a key. So, I'm touching a key, and it is um, giving me charges without picking up the key. Team Alacria in there, why the hell not? And so, we have a way of just generating an infinite number of items. It's quite beautiful. It's quite something. I don't know how long I'm going to do this for, but if I get the opportunity to break the game wide open, you best believe I'm going to do it. You best believe I'm going to do it. I Basically, I want to get to just the level where we don't crash the game. Right. Let's try shooting, shall we? Honestly, shooting isn't too wild right now. With Hemolacter and stuff, it's pretty crazy, but it's not it's not insane. Let's let's go do some other rooms. In fact, let me just test something. Does this work with any key? It very much works with any single key in the game. So we can we can do this on the go. We don't have to be in just that room to do it. How, how beautiful is this? One final game break to rule them all. Don't you love it when stuff like this happens? Isn't it magical? Isn't it magical? What the hell is that? Interesting. I don't need to use that right now, but it's interesting to know it exists. But yeah, we can we can leave this floor without without feeling like, oh, we can't do that glitch again, because anytime we find a key, we can do this glitch. Literally, we're so broken, all we need is a key to end the game's life. Game isn't running too good anymore. I was talking about how it was running well before. But it's no longer the case. Aw, oh, dudes, could you, like, wake up? I don't think I can actually attack these guys at all, so I'm just going to leave. Oh, what the hell? The bomb didn't go off. It just kind of opened the door. Boom. I'm getting so many followers out of this as well. Beautiful. Tuna. We don't talk about you, no, no. Is uh, is causing some um, particularly interesting issues. 
mainly the fact that we have thousands of, uh, of enemies on our side. Some of them are champions as well. Did I not finish this room? Apparently not. I apologize for being so rude. Toxic Shock is killing most things, to be fair. If we enter with enough speed, it just kills everything. Oh, there you go. Remember when we had the helicopter boys carrying us? Remember those good old days? Oh, get a bit of uh, imp soda in there for some crits. And now we just ride the wave, boys. I think Toxic Shock will honestly carry us much of the way. Seems to explode a lot of things as well because of the blood explosions. I like the blood explosions. Oh my god. These little dudes, there's so many of them on our side. I kind of want to have a, a purge of friendlies, because there's just way too many of them, but I genuinely don't know how we're going to achieve that. I mean, maybe... Okay, I was like, maybe we can get them to kill themselves on the spikes. Doesn't work. It's like every time we enter a room now, there's like... There's this just blob mass surrounding us that we can't deal with. Got a library. Lovely. Go my army. And there's the spiders on top of this as well. I don't think I actually want the library for any reason other than just taking a look. <laughs> the baby plums. Baby plums are in. Three of them at once, baby. Ambient Conception and Concuss, which doesn't do anything for us, apart from accidentally get rid of my active bollocks. I forgot it was an active. I thought it was a passive. Thank you, Lost Soul. I'm actually not sure how you survived, but I'm happy about it regardless. No mapping is a little upsetting. These enemies aren't going to die of their own accord. We know that for sure. I like the way we've got the, uh, the goddamn sound effects from, what's it called? I can't remember the hell the fucking name now. Petscop. Got the Petscop sounds going. I wish we had the pieces around the room as well to collect. Who'd have thought, who'd have thought this, the humble beginnings of this run would become what we see before us now, which is a mess of hearts. Juno is just insanity. I mean, this run itself is, is is literally insane, but the thing that really is tipping this run over the edge is just the pure fact that it's just crazy, crazy how much stuff Juno has spawned and kept around, too. The fact that it's all still alive is probably the most surprising thing. Seems good. Oh my god, the frame rate. We have destroyed it. Everything dead? Everything dead. The thing is, every single room we complete is likely to spawn more friendlies. With every friendly we spawn, we're likely to lag a little bit more. So I have a feeling we're just going to reach a point where this run no longer is. Crashing, I mean, to be fair, crashing for a final run would be pretty ceremonious. Like, that would be a fitting end. What the fuck happened there? What's, what's all this... I mean, I could pretty easily kill Hush, I think, but 
Do I want to be subjected to that pain? Probably not. Do I want to subject you to that pain? Also, probably not. But I still will do Mega Satan, though. Don't, don't worry about that. We've got the wafer and stuff going on, remember, as well. I think, really, like, there's so many items that are contributing to how insanely powerful this run is, but the one that is just absolutely insane, and an item that, I don't know if it is anymore, but at least it used to be fairly underrated, and I never knew why, Toxic Shock. This item is so damn good. And people, Some people don't like it, or, like, don't really think of it as a top-tier item. I'd say it could easily be quality 4. The only thing that makes it not quality 4 is the fact that it relies on having high damage to work, but you don't need high damage for it. Right, let's go kill Blue Baby and then come back and do Mega Satan. I guess why not? We've got 6.5 looks, which we get quite a lot of chests here. Good old smart fly. Oh, we picked up a key and it destroyed our bloody thing. Dr. Fetus? Hmm. I feel like that could be terrible, but I'm going to try it. I'll just remove it if it's really bad. Pretty, it's pretty bad. <laughs> pretty cool, though. Pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, that's actually, I don't know how I'm not getting hit some of these times, but that's actually awesome. That is so cool. It's just like, so many ghosts. I actually don't understand where all the ghosts come from. There's that many ghosts. It's really cool. Oh God, this could be terrible. It most likely is, but there you go. <sighs> this was all such a mistake. Whatever that happens, I ain't living for long. I think first one was the worst idea we had. A lot of the bombs make their way back to me a lot easier now. The bombs sometimes just keep going. Right. <sighs> okay. Go out with a bang. Stick em, boys. Took you a while, but you got there. Burn heart. And let's see if we can live. Oh my god, I'm only ever going to take damage to myself here, so... I actually don't know what's going on. 
It's very confusing. Just just pretend you pretend pretend it's not happening, I guess. Like random bombs keep coming out of nowhere. Like I'm not firing any of these. What the hell is that? I didn't fire this tier. What the hell is this tier? Uh, I haven't fired in such a long time. I cannot fathom to tell you what is happening right now. The last time I fired was on Super Gluttony. Stay out the way and let things happen, I guess. <laughs> There's all these ghosts. Look. Just not firing. Somehow it's, it's working out. There you go. We know it's a mistake. We know it's a mistake. We know we're going to die. But we've got to try, haven't we? What the fuck? Where'd that Gigabomb come from? Right now, my current philosophy is I have to... Ow, thank you for shooting me there. My current philosophy is I have to not, um... Not shoot things. And let my familiars do everything. Or let everything just explode like that somehow. Don't even know what happened there. Oh, we got Delirium straight away. That's maybe better? I I honestly can't say. Is that better? I think so. As long as you stay near the middle, I guess. I don't know where you are anymore, sir. I mean... It seemed to have worked. Somehow it worked. The fact that we found him as our first boss there was a miracle. <laughs> that was... Hilarious. <laughs> That was absolute insanity, and I hope you all enjoyed, because I very much so did. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video, which I believe, I may be wrong, but I believe should be the new series with the 10k special. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys then.